Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this another brand new day wherein I have a hamster on my lap. Well, I mean, she's not on my lap anymore. She was, though. She was sitting there being a hamster. Excuse me. I have gas trapped in my abdominal cavities. I went and drank from a carbonated beverage. And earlier, I was just belching up a storm because of all the gas pumped into my stomach from my sleep apnea mess. But this is Gojira. And of course, I just like to show off my hamster. She was sleeping. Oh, you don't want to eat that. She was sleeping and I woke her up and I brought her up here. So now I'm tugging on her tail. But she's a cutie. I woke her up. I was cruel. But I'm going to put her back in her cage now so she can get some more sleep. There you go. Thank you. She's a sweetheart. She is. She's one of my most well-behaved hamatrons. I mean, they're all well-behaved. I mean, there's none of them like bite or attack. I mean, even Thigmo, who was the last one to have bitten me, the only reason he bit me was because I startled him and he didn't draw blood. He just nipped and then ran. You know, it's like cause you a bit of momentary pain and then while you're going, ow, you know, dash and then it's, it's escaped. So that's why he did that. And so it's, it was like my fault, but they're all well behaved. She's just a sweetheart though. She sleeps out in the open wherever she happens to be comfortable. So thumbs up for that. Sometimes she sleeps in her mason jar, but a lot of the time, yeah, she's just right back into the little divot in her bedding where she was sleeping in the corner, not buried or anything, just flopped out in the corner, out in the open. Again, she has very, very few survival instincts, but thumbs up for that. She doesn't have to. Nature is red in tooth and claw, but she's not out in nature, and she's not going to be, so it's a good thing. She is alive, and she's going to stay that way at least for a short time. At least for a short time. And it is so terribly, terribly short. <sighs> I'm lucky if my hamsters last two years. Usually they last anywhere between one year to a year and a half. I like to hold my hamsters and that stresses them and sometimes, oh itchy knee, sometimes that is not what's good for them. I mean, it's, if they don't want to be held, they shouldn't be like alive and small and fuzzy, but it's not their fault. So I try not to stress them out too much, but what can you do? I mean, they are rodents. Wrong direction. Come on now. Hang properly on my frame. I didn't go walkies again last night. I think as much as I like doing squats for my legs, I can't really do squats for my legs. That seems to be what is killing my knees. When I go down, and then come up and doing squats, you know, keep my back straight, but lower myself down and then bring myself back up. That just does the job. And when I go out walkies, when I come back, my knees are broken, but I don't do squats and I can walk and come back and my knees are not wonderful, but working a hell of a lot better than when I'm doing squats. So, I may like the toning, I may like the exercise, but it's, oh, that's, there was something on my family, and it was, it scared me, it was like, is that a bug? But no. So it's, I can't do that, I mean, because I was putting on my pants the other morning, and I keep my wallet in one of my front pockets, my left front pocket usually, because if you put them in your back pocket, it presses on your nerves, your sciatic nerves, and it's not good for you, and it changes your posture. So I don't sit on my wallet. I've worn it in my front for like 20 some odd years or, or more. I think I started doing that when I was in the Air Force. But point being, it as I put my pant legs on that morning, my knee, my left knee, went whoop across the inside of my wallet in my pants pocket. And oh my God, that was like someone had just taken a hammer and went whap really hard on my knee joint. Just by running it on, my kidney's going crazy and playing with plastic bags. I have some 
sodas in plastic bags because I don't really have any place to put them, so they're just still in plastic bags, and the kitty is playing with the plastic bags right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. But that really, really, really hurt. It was horrific and nightmarish pain. So, yay. But, on the whole, when I'm not doing squats and irritating my knee joints, I can walk. And while it's not wonderful, it's not as bad. So, <sighs> yay. <laughs> also, I was going to have therapy this morning, apparently. I thoroughly messed up the scheduling because my therapist had gone on vacation last month. And I think uh, I just thoroughly missed and misunderstood now, what are you playing with, Kitty? I don't know what she's playing with, but she's playing with something down in my art supplies now. But he went on vacation, and I misunderstood the times he was going to be on vacation. So the time that he hadn't gone on yet, I went and accidentally no call, no showed. And today, when he was supposed to be restarting stuff, I thought he was going to be still be gone. And so I had to call and cancel my therapy for today. Next week, everything is going to be on time, on schedule, so things are going to work out. That'll be good. I mean, he deserves to go on vacation. He's got a family. He needs to take care of himself and his family. So that's a good thing. It's just I wish I hadn't misunderstood, misunderstood, misunderstood the times that he said he was going to be gone. Life is life. But I've been thinking of stories and story ideas and things to do with them and trying to get them down and written and then... <clears throat> doing the story readings for videos because hokey smokes amelia amelia get down from there good lord yeah she lives here too but normally she doesn't do stuff quite like that you are a silly and wild kitty you need to like run outside and get rid of some energy here instead of tearing apart everything i own hokey smokes now i gotta go and fix all that stuff up i wondered why stuff gets knocked down i hadn't realized she was jumping up into stuff like that ay 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 she already jumps on some of the hamster cages over there so when the plastic lids i have to make sure they're not on click shut because then you know the hamster's gonna die so they gotta be ajar but they can't be too ajar because when the hams when the cat gets on the lid or I put stuff on the lid, then of course because there is no it's not resting on anything, it bends in the middle like a funnel and then it breaks and then if she jumps on it, it just goes thunk and falls inward and she slides in and then the hamster gets out and it's a mess. So I just hadn't actually seen her doing that. Now I gotta repair all this stuff. Bulky smokes. And of course, there's my wife. So I, it's not like I would see, you know, human remains scattered all over the floor if the cat knocked down this little box with my wife's remains in it. That also contains, like, one of our cats as well. Because my wife was cremated, the cat was cremated, I kept the cat's ashes in with her, but she's in a plastic bag inside the box. There's another box with a plastic bag with the cat's ashes in it. And I put in some notes and letters from the kids to go inside of there with them. So one day I think I'm going to have to just let go and I'm gonna scatter what remains. But for right now, I, I've still got her and she's right here. Morbid as it may be, I don't know. I mean, lots of cultures do more than that. So, I mean, there, well, there are just lots of cultures that do more. And of course, you know, in the United States, we're terrified of death and the reminders of our own mortality. So, thumbs up for that. Still though, I mean, we're only here for short amounts of time and some of us are here for even shorter amounts of time. I mean, my wife spent 10 of our 12 years of marriage dying and died at age 41. Not fair. 
life is life. But, you know, you do what you can. And she tried to be as, as productive and active as she could until she went. And that was good. That was good. I mean, what else are you going to do? But I don't want to just talk about depressing and awful things. I mean, after all, everyone has one of those decades. Maybe a bit extreme to say one of those decades. I used to like to say it's not. I'm just having one of those lifetimes. And, you know, for some people it just seems that way. Good golly, Miss Molly. There are some Air Force tales I have wanted to talk about. I wish I could remember more of the people. I have such... I have a ton of memory problems that I've wanted to talk about before that are really really difficult to even go near because when I start trying to remember things in these blocked out like drunken times I get anxiety because I can't remember and it is both physical and mental anxiety when I try to remember so I have tried to remember the names of some of the people I worked with while I was in Germany in the Air Force and some of that I've just tried to remember and been just, I couldn't do it. I had to back away from it because of the anxiety. And there's so much like that. I was one point trying to remember a book I had read as a kid. And this is, I mean, everyone has, well, not everyone, of course, there's the outliers in every case, but 98% of everybody suffers from a case of childhood amnesia. You can't remember most of your childhood. Most, some people can't remember anything. Some people can remember 95%. Most of us are in that small period you know, where what you remember ain't much. I mean, of all my childhood before I was like 10, I can remember. Maybe a half hour grand total. So, but some of that, I was remembering a book. I had already learned to read, but I learned to read at an extremely young age because I was voracious. I had to read. As soon as I started being able to, I had to. I was reading everything. Ingredients on cereal boxes, everything. And there was a book that, because my grandparents and all this collected books, and they had books in an upstairs room, and one of these books I looked through, and I sort of remembered it being called Pseudo People. And I was having anxiety, massive anxiety, trying to remember that one time until I looked it up, and son of a gun, I was right. I must have been like eight years old. I read this book of science fiction stories written by adults for adults about androids, robots, and such like that. But it was a collected anthology of short stories called Pseudo People. And it was pretty amazing this suddenly flashing back and going, oh, like 45 some odd years and remembering that. But I wish I could remember more of like my Air Force stuff. Like one guy. I can't remember his last name. I remembered it for a little while. It was like Mark, and then he, his call letters were like Mark Mark, because his last name was like McNamara or McNamara, something like that. But he was a great guy. Some of us would get together and we'd go over to where he worked at night, because he worked at night in a communications area. 90% of his stuff was just sitting there, making sure the equipment was working. And so we'd show up with like our Commodore 64s and our monitors and we'd play a few computer games with him. And a few times his commander showed up and was okay with us being there. We didn't show up a lot after that because it may be okay, but you don't want to really make waves or make yourself known to a lot of people. I wish I could remember fully his last name. There's another fellow that I was a friend with and all I can remember is his name, Michael. Can't remember his last name. If I try too hard, that anxiety sucks. But there was this one fellow, Pierre Miller. I wish I could meet someone, li meet someone like him. I wish I could meet him again, find out if he's still alive. There was another fellow from South Carolina, Dennis Swain. 
after my first year that I was in Florida, I lost track of him and have regretted it ever since. So, a lot of regrets, a lot of regrets in life. Not because of anything stupid that I've done, lots of those. But these regrets I'm talking about are just the things that happen because of time. Just time. Time passes and somebody that's left is gone. So you eventually stop thinking about them until 20 or 30 years pass. Thumbs up for that. Well, hey, I've opened up 24 hours with the comments, my community tab, and I'm going to go through and thank 20 to 25 people for having left me a comment. Now, I'm not reading the comments right now. I'm going to read them afterward. Thumbs up each of what I do. Answer as many as I can, but right now, I'm just thanking you for having left me a comment. Good, bad, indifferent. The fact is, you left me a comment. Thank you very much. If I mispronounce a username, no disrespect is intended. I'm an American English speaker, and even though I count American Sign Language on the fingers of this hand because of my depression, fibro, and more, I'm lucky I can remember that my name is not Rutherford P. Farquhar. P stands for Sylvester. It is silent. Danny Phantom, 4749. Thank you so very, very much. And Mediocre on a Good Day. Well, that's kind of sad, but, you know, still a cool name. And Ostop Mostawi? Thank you very much. I hope I'm close and Russian timing. Greatly appreciated. Ollie B, thumbs up and thank you. Kathy Kitzkat, good to see you in the comments. And Dead Mean, <laughs> heck of a name. Fist of Dante Media. Ooh, that's kind of dramatic. I like that. Lil Syrup, thank you so very much. And Zombie Wolf, good to see you. And we have Ike Nooney, thank you very, very much. Retry it, thumbs up. And then we have Dark Star, greatly appreciated. And then we have Tia May, greatly appreciated. Jost Filrez, I sure hope I'm close, but I bet I'm not. But thank you. And John Brooks, greatly appreciated. We have Confused Owl, 29, thumbs up and thank you. Boo Heist, greatly appreciated. And I will miss you, though. Thumbs up and thank you. We have Cosmic 3, probably better than the first two cosmics but still pretty cool thank you dk gaming greatly appreciated nancy sweeney good to see you in the comments as well vanya mosiev i bet i'm nowhere close but thank you very very much and then we have mariah stacy am i i think i just did the three didn't i so this would be four i get lost on that so often and then T Pro Gamer YouTube. Thumbs up and thank you. Each and every one of you. Hopefully I got to 25. I wouldn't be surprised if I messed up thoroughly on that 23 to 24 transition. Thumbs up. But it is appreciated. Get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people, and that is a very good thing. And if you could check out my various links, I have Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, NearlySeniorCitizen.com. If you could donate to my GoFundMe campaign, it's always running and always hungry. Because I'm always hungry. I need food. I don't have any money for food. Or become a Patreon.com patron like one of these beautiful and awesome people. That would be beautiful and awesome. But if you cannot donate or you simply do not donate, I do take all good wishes and I deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So thank you very much. If you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation I get from my existence. Definitely a thumbs up. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be very cool. Greatly appreciated. I would understand if you did not wish to. I mean, but if you are down with it, I will do my very best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Pretty scary. <clears throat> well, shuckle my duckle. I've got this video, I got another video, I'm probably just those two. I've been cutting myself down, doing fewer videos now. Weirdly, it's taking me longer to do them now. Before, when I was doing like three or four videos daily, I could get done around one or two o'clock. Now I'm cutting it down to two, sometimes three. I didn't finish until seven o'clock last night. So doing less, I'm working more. That, that's not the desired result here. <laughs> and remember, I'm not doing less to do less. I'm doing less because I'm doing do this because I've been trying to take care of my mental status, bring myself up and recover from the depression that I have been suffering under for decades. So I've been trying to take it easier on myself because I haven't needed to stay busy. But paradoxically I'm more busy than ever because of that so I gotta work on something anyway you take care have a great day today I will see you on the flip side my friend and that is a very good thing I got this video another video and and maybe nothing else maybe something else hard to say 
Have a great day.